up y'all what's cracking like i'm about to react to a video by watch wwe this is wwe superstars angriest moments inside the ring angry i don't know if this is going to uh include them being like angry in real life or just angry in their character and in their storyline um hopefully it's like angry in real life because i like to see the real the real moments um but we're gonna see uh what moments are on this list let's watch like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications and once you're done leave a comment down below and i just might end up responding so blood sweat and tears while these may be the sheddings of hard work and dedication all three could also be attributed to wrestling's second most notable personality trait piss the f off what WWE off, has had a lot of big dudes with bigger attitudes, and when it comes down to it, everyone seems to have either a temper or a breaking point in this industry. Oh, you either come weird. into it with a mad switch you can flip anytime, or you're pushed so far into McMahon's sanity they end up discovering anger they didn't even know they had. I mean, are you keeping up with all this Sasha Banks drama? I'm D Wicked, and these are 10 What's extremely up, angry WWE moments. Number 10, see. Roman is pissed. In one of the best war of words we've ever seen in the wrestling ring, John Cena and Roman Reigns gave each other verbal hell in the lead up to their Mania main event worthy brawl at no mercy. Shut up for a while, how about that? And second of all, Go ahead, find it. Go ahead. Oh, and when I say it's one of the best war of words, I mean John Cena did such a goddamn great job destroying Roman Reigns' chances of coming across as the next poster boy that he single-handedly earned that title. Not only that, he's a part-time and fake <laughs> The best bar here without doubt was when Roman f***ed up and Cena caught him slipping and when Bino warns you to not get caught slipping and when Bino warns you to not get caught slipping in America, you're fairly warned. It's called a promo, Shut your mouth, If you want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it, so go ahead. He's for that. Number nine, Braun is pissed. I, as a professional wrestler, am in no way done with the actions we've been proceeding with. Or to put his words back in simpler terms, I'm not furnished with you! Oh, I remember this, bro. <laughs> he was doing too much. These were the iconic words Braun screamed while running straight through an ambulance door into a pile of boxes, and yes, that sentence is worth the hype. I'm not Ron's had plenty of pissed off moments, aggressiveness, and an appetite for flesh are of his most defining qualities, but easily the most memorable Mad Strowman moment was the Roman feud. More specifically, that now legendary line. Why in the hell WWE has him screaming about getting these hands when his other line is way better? We have no idea, but for now, let's just enjoy some Oh my god! Strowman just tried to take out Reigns instead! He ran right through the back door! Number eight, CM Punk is them. bitter. You know what's worse than just being pissed? Being in the presence of an egomaniac who, in one line, manages to wrongfully boost himself up while also putting you and all of your peers down. Triple H just so managed to create this presence when he, with every single world champion associated with the company in 2013, claimed to be the greatest title holder in the ring and of all time. All time. Kevin Dunn doesn't get much credit these days, but props for leaving that camera angle on screen for it gave us CM Punk's bittersweet facial expressions as he laughs off the COO's brags. If you don't believe this is anger towards H, just wait till later in the same segment. Number seven, Randy Orton is pissed. Check my kidney. Where would we be without the temperament of Randall Keith Orton? Well, actually things would be fairly different considering he's gotten at least one of his fellow wrestlers fired, that man being Mr. Kenneth Kennedy. You want to get overconfident because Ooh, something like that could happen. They no, burn suplex. During a big tag team match, Kennedy accidentally Stupid. dropped Orton awkwardly, and seeing as this was during his mad snake phase backstage, he really, really let loose in the ring and was visibly shaken, and unfortunately for Ken, backstage politics weren't exactly on his side, and for literally one botch, ended up being released. <laughs> 
Orton feels that back suplex and know he made a mistake. Number six, Randy Orton is stupid. Wait, no, that was that was Kofi, right? Oh, yeah, who could forget that great time Kofi Kingston botched? I think in RKO, whatever, whatever it was, it left Orton somehow even more pissed than the Kennedy incident, seeing as he got up and screamed stupid, stupid over and over towards the prone body of Kingston. Feeling it. Goes for the RKO. This was during their fantastic 2009 feud, and it pretty much ended not only that feud, but also the main event push of Kofi Kingston, which sucked. But hey, at least it finally came full circle. Both these stupid, which Kofi recently yelled at Orton, I love saying stupid, and the main event push itself, seeing as your boy has spent the last month with that WWE Championship around his waist. He pinned Lanny Orton in critical fashion to make it one-on-one -on -one with him and yes, Brian. Ultimately, we know the only time almost... Number five, <laughs> Big Show is pissed. Big Show is a big man. A big man with big power potential. And when you get him going, oh boy, does he let loose. I'm gonna fourth wall break you guys and let you know up front that I have no clue what the context is. Alright, I found this clip and honestly, I think it's better without knowing anything about it. I love it right now. All I know is that according to Mr. Show, he doesn't need Tori's pity. No, I'm not trying to get I don't need your pity, Tori! I don't need pity! And through context clues, I'm gonna safely assume that the car in question is Tori's. Please enjoy Big Show punching glass. Let me help you! Oh my god, no! Number four, Vince is the chairman of the board spelled with a knee shot up to Norm McDonald has never shied out of playing his part for the company. No matter how big his behind the scenes ego may be, when it comes to putting it all out there in front of the camera, goddamn does he do business. No one is gonna embarrass me like that ever again. Well, Vince has gotten pissed inside the ring constantly over the years. This seems to be one of the most memorable. Not the biggest fan of the bid or the DX reunion tour years, but this seems to be a fan favorite, and Vince is certainly pissed. So what the hell? At least one line of this was truly hilarious. Damn it, you <laughs> Number three, the screw bomb. Wow, you talk about controversy. A joint entry on this list, seeing as we've talked about both the Montreal screw job and the pipe bomb plenty enough as it is, yet they're both cut from the same <laughs> angry cloth, so it just wouldn't make sense to leave them out. The premise of each's anger is pretty simple. My boss is an idiot, and he's f***ing me over. What happened? Bret Hart gave up on the sharpshooter! You saw Bret Hart go to town. He destroyed the set. He was spitting in the air. And you know what? Both men were absolutely right. Whether it was the anger from Bret Hart being literally screwed out of his WWF championship despite not tapping out, or the frustrations venting out of Punk for his years of mistreatment and outlook on a company with all the potential yet all the yes men in the world, two justifiably pissed off men on their way out the business with Vince. What a happy Christmas picture. He's split just like I'm splitting, but the biggest difference between me and Brock is I'm going to leave with the WWE Championship. Number two, Jericho is pissed. And Charles Robinson is also pissed. During a 2016 Raw matchup between uh, Neville and Christopher Jericho, Neville botched a baseball slide that ended up injuring his leg bad enough for Jericho to call an audible and have the match ended immediately. Oh no, kick out at two. Uh -oh. So, on the fly, Jericho decides to try getting himself disqualified by getting in the face of Robinson and just letting loose. Unfortunately, Robinson missed the injury and had no idea what the f Y2J was doing, and instead just saw a dude yelling at him in his face and decided to yell back, because what would you do if a dude was just yelling in his face? <laughs> no need for that. That is, the official had no choice. Yeah. Referee Charles Robinson had no choice. He had to disqualify Jericho. For a good chunk of the time, these two are just aimlessly screaming while Neville lies in pain, waiting to get the f out of the ring, and they're yelling over what to do about the situation involving the guy just sitting there in the middle of the ring, waiting for the... It's just insanity. R.I.P. Neville. I'm being so confused what's real and what's not. John Cena is seriously... 
pissed. Who in the hell could have predicted John Superhero Cena topping this list? The list of extreme anger in WWE. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've seen this little nugget right here before, you might already understand. Cena's gonna try to hurt Jack Swagger. Well, rightfully so. This matchup, I don't think, even started here. And Cena's just assaulting and attacking Swagger. During the Embrace the Hate storyline with Kane in 2011, John Cena was inadvertently responsible for quite a bit of pain and suffering to his good friend Zack Ryder, whether it be attacks from Kane, losing the US title, or Cena making out with Ryder's girlfriend Eve. Okay, that wasn't so inadvertent. Regardless, Cena really did think of Ryder as a friend and let out all of his frustrations over the situation with Ryder and Kane out on poor little Jack Swagger. It's just, it's just a mugging. He opens hard out the gate with right fist before the bell even rings, which it never does, by the way. This isn't a match. It's just a beat down by Cena outside of the ring for the majority of the time. If it wasn't for Kane's interference, Cena would have literally crushed Jack's head in between stair steps. Jesus Christ, dude. He's gonna end this man's career. Come on! Oh, And those are 10 extremely angry WWE in-ring moments. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below after like. Wait, wait, wait. Some of, I thought all of it was going to be fake. Then when I saw the first clip, I was like, oh, it's going to be real. But then I saw some moments that were definitely scripted. But some shit is like, is this scripted? Is this not? Like, I'm, I'm kind of confused sometimes. I ain't going to lie. But I'm sure a lot of y'all know, so let me know. But let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know what other videos you want to react to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!